enjoying his time in defence with the Richmond Football Club. Please welcome Ricky Pedard. Oh, yeah. 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 Rick, welcome to the Moment Footy Show. Great to have you on. Thanks, mate. Pleasure to be here. Now, you must be feeling pretty good about yourself at the moment. You're at a club, won three in a row, and you've just left, it, lost, left your former club that's lost three games in a row. How's it feel to be at Tigerland? Yeah, mate, it's great to be at the Tigerland, um, you know, supporting them as a kid. So it's a, kind of a dream come true for me, I suppose. But... Um, you know, we're playing good football at the moment. We're winning games, which we're happy about. But, um, you know, we understand what we've got to do to continue to win those games. Now, Rick, when you left Melbourne, I'm up, you probably were very disappointed that you had to leave the club. And uh, they're travelling pretty bad at the moment. <laughs> what? Oh, you said he was disappointed when he left Melbourne. I don't think he's disappointed. <laughs> Why not? Well, when you get chopped, Ronnie, would That's you like be keep, disappointed? Ask Ricky the question. <laughs> like he got picked up. <laughs> what's, it, what's it feel like to be at the Tigers? Um, yeah, like I said before, I'm pretty lucky, you know, to be in the position I am and to come into a, a, a team that's up and coming and, and winning some games. And, you know, I've come from a club where we haven't won so many games in the last six years I've been there. So, um, you know, like I've still got a lot of good mates there and uh, still talk to them regularly. And, you know, it's sad to see what they're going through, what they're going through now, but, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy for the moment. Hey, Ricky, look, you mentioned Broadbeach. Now, that's obviously where you're from and... You know, you also played with a fellow called Dane Zorka, who, who's from Broadbeach as well. One thing I like about the way you go for your marks, you seem to have a vertical leap very similar to Darren White. I reckon you've got a good leap on you. Is that something you've worked on, you know, obviously on your strengths? If I could jump half as high as him, I'd be pretty happy, mate. But, <laughs> um, yeah, look, with my size, I'm, I'm a medium size. You know, I was forward um, and I needed something to set me above other people. And, you know, I used to do a lot of work on my hands and my marking and my jumping as well um, just to get a you know, a bit taller and a bit above pack. So um, I did a fair bit of work with that and, you know, hopefully it pays off a little bit. Ricky, who's been uh, most impressive to you in your eyes that does the work behind the scenes, the little things, at Tiger Lang at the moment? There's a lot of great leaders there. Yep. Uh, Chrissy Newman's been there for a while, hasn't played finals this year. I'm surely he's one of those guys that does the little things, uh, attention to detail. Who else is there that have really taken your, uh, your, your eye? Yeah. Uh, yeah, like you mentioned, Newey, Newey's spot on with that kind of stuff. Um, you know, he's, he's got a 20-year-old rig, I reckon, and he's 30, <laughs> so he's going pretty well. But, you know, you've got blokes like Dylan Grimes who, you know, they do absolutely everything they can to get their body on the park each week. And, you know, he's, he's always had problems with his hammies and that, but he'll, um, he'll, ever, you know, he'll never leave any stone unturned to, to get himself up through the week. It must be a great feeling of training. I know, I know this is your first year, but you, know, you boys yeah. know when you, when you actually lose a couple of games early in the year, you're flat, and it's flat for the whole year. It must be really good to go out and train at the moment. And the pressure. You've got a lot, of, you've got a lot more depth this year than you've had before. Yeah, absolutely. And for me, I, I, I haven't won three games in a row, I think, my whole career over the last <laughs> seven years. So, um, Unbelievable. So I'm really enjoying it, mate. But, you know, you've got blokes like, you know, Pup Rewalt who will get us up, you know, every training session, Alan Rance and blokes like that who just, um, you know, continue to get the boys up and going. And, Ricky, was it hard to learn the uh, words of the theme song? Uh, it wasn't because I was a Tigers supporter <laughs> growing up, so I uh, <laughs> sang it a few times.